Hello, welcome to Rocky Biochem series. Today's video is going to be a slight shift from our biochemistry. We are going to look at how to download paid articles for free. Most of the times when we are given a project to work or a term paper to write, we normally find it difficult to get the right articles for the work. In um, many instances, when we even get the correct article, we normally find it difficult to download because we will be asked to pay for it before we will be allowed to download such articles. And some articles are also such that you will see the abstract to be very catchy and then um, perfect fit for the work that you are doing. But you won't even find the download button to I mean, tap on it and then download. So I am going to show you how to download search articles, whether paid or not, or whether the download button is not showing, how to download search articles for free without paying a penny. So let's start. I want to start this video by explaining to you or showing you how some of the top sites for downloading articles, some of the top sites for downloading articles so we have a site like google scholar to be one of the most popular sites for obtaining articles you can also check out pubmed for your articles we have europe pmc we have the jstor and you can also check out semantic scholar so aside these sites you can also check out research gates or we have the sage Genere, we have doge Consensus AI or Elicit.org. Let me throw more light on Elicit.org and then Consensus AI. These two sites are AI-based research sites. So when you use them for your work, most of the suggested articles that will appear are perfect fit for your work. They are mostly perfect fit for what you are looking for. So I will urge you to make good use of Consensus AI and then Elicit.org. So now that we've gotten to know some of the top sites for downloading articles, let's proceed to the real business. Let's proceed to how to download the articles for free. The first thing to do is to open your Google search engine and then key in the name of the article searching site that you want to use. I have mentioned a lot of article searching sites already. You can use Google Scholar, Semantic Scholar, you can check Alice.org, you can check Consensus AI, or you can check JSTOR. I prefer using Google Scholar for the meantime. So let me use Google Scholar here. Google Scholar. Okay. This is my Google Scholar. Good. So now that the Google Scholar interface has opened, the next thing I have to do is to key in the title of the project's work or the term paper that I am working on. So assuming that I am giving a work on H. pylori, H. pylori infections in children or let's say in adolescents and then children, let's say I'm working on this. So I will search for this article and then look through the suggested articles here you can see we have h pylori infection in children and adolescents we have h pylori infections in children a lot of suggested articles are displayed here i prefer using this one let me tap on this one and see let me tap on this particular article and see how it is okay so this is the article let me check the abstract so about one third of all children worldwide is infected with H. pylori and its prevalence is low in developed and then high in developing countries. So as you keep on reading downwards, you see the abstract of this article looks so catchy and then a very good match for what I'm working on. But the sad part is I can't download this particular article because there is no tab here displaying download for me to tap on it. Or there is no tab here displaying, let's say, download PDF for me to tap on it and then download. When you check the right side of the screen here, you can see the cost of the article being displayed here. That is 29.95 euros. And I am to buy the full chapter or accept via my institution if I want to download the article. Let me tell you something. For almost all the articles uploaded online, they come with what you call digital object identifier that is doi for short 
and in the case of this particular article the DOI of it is displayed here this is the DOI of the article that I have searched so we are going to use the DOI of this article to download the full article so first of all let's copy the DOI here let's copy the full DOI here let's copy and then open a new tab let's open a new tab and then key in sci-hub s-c-i-h-u-b sci-hub let's key in sci-hub and then tap on it to open good so this is the interface for sci-hub after opening sci-hub the next thing to do is to paste the doi that you copied from the previous site so let me copy the doi here and then tap open and see perfect so this is the article the article is here as we can see this is the full article this is the full article this is the full article now that you've gotten access to the full article then you tap on download tap on download tab here and then i select the location let's i want to save this to my desktop and then I will name it with a name of my choice. So let's say I want to name this article as Helico. Helico. Or like it, let me say H. Pylori. This is the name I want to use to name the article H. Pylori. And then I say, as simple as that, the article has been downloaded. But there are some instances the article uploaded won't come with DOI for you to just copy it and then paste it in Sci-Hub and then download it. There are some instances you won't see the DOI being displayed directly and then making it easy for you to use and to download it. Let me check a typical example of search articles for you to see. Let's say I'm working on a topic like hydroxyurea. I'm working on hydroxyurea in sickle cell treatment. In sickle cell treatment. Okay. Let me check hydroxyurea in sickle cell it means a lot of articles are displayed here a lot of articles are here so I prefer using this one let me check this one out so this is the article displayed here as you can see hydrosuria in sickle cell disease drug review you can see the article here and this is the abstract hydrosuria a myelosuppressive agent is the only effective drug proving to reduce the frequency of painful episodes so when you keep on reading you see the abstract to be so catchy and then a good match for the work that I am doing but on the right side the cost of the article is displayed here to be 39.95 euros and there is one thing that we have to take note we can't find any DOI on this particular site there is no DOI displayed here for us to copy and then paste in sci-hub to download the article so what we are going to do is that let's copy the full title of the article let's copy the full title here and then open another tab let's open another tab and then key in library genesis library genesis good let's key in library genesis this is library genesis that is libgen.li let's open library genesis and this is the interface of library genesis so paste the title that you copied from the previous site T paste the title here and then you tap on search good so you see this is the doi the doi has been displayed here for us to see so let's copy the doi which is displayed here let's copy let's copy the doi from here let me copy the doi and then come back to sci-hub let me come back to sci-hub and then paste it here okay i copied some additional information so let me delete them and leave only the doi let me delete them and then leave only the doi so this is the doi and then i'll open it good so this is the article hydrosuria in sickle cell disease drug review so this is the full article and then you will tap on the download tab and then save it with a name of our choice so hydrosy urea i have saved it boom that's all i hope this particular video has been so helpful 
for you. Why don't you also support me by subscribing to my channel? Thank you very much as you are doing so. See you next time. Bye.